Bullying has been a prevalent issue in society for decades, and Hollywood has often depicted its devastating effects on the big screen. While some films merely showcase the harsh reality of bullying, others delve deeper into the psyche of the victims, highlighting their journey towards redemption and often revenge. But does Hollywood inadvertently promote bullying through these narratives? Let's explore this question by examining 10 powerful movies where characters face bullying and seek their own form of justice. Number one, Angela Baker from Sleepaway Camp. Angela Baker from Sleepaway Camp is a character whose journey is deeply intertwined with the theme of bullying and its consequences. From the moment Angela arrives at camp, she is subjected to ridicule and mistreatment by her peers, who mock her reserved demeanor and awkwardness. Led by the antagonistic Judy, the other campers taunt and ostracize Angela, exacerbating her feelings of isolation and insecurity. This sustained campaign of harassment pushes Angela to the brink, fueling a simmering rage beneath her outwardly meek facade. As the summer camp descends into chaos and terror, Angela's retribution knows no bounds, targeting those who tormented her with a chilling and methodical precision. Each act of violence serves as a gruesome reminder of the consequences of unchecked cruelty and the depths of Angela's trauma. Number 2. Victor Crowley from Hatchet Victor Crowley, the central antagonist in the Hatchet film series, is a terrifying embodiment of revenge and primal fury. The backstory of Victor Crowley is steeped in tragedy. As a deformed child, he was the subject of ridicule and mockery from the local townsfolk, who cruelly nicknamed him Hatchet Face. One Halloween night, a group of teenagers, fueled by alcohol and ignorance, play a cruel prank on Victor's family home, resulting in a fire that claims the lives of both Victor and his father. Years later, Victor Crowley returns from the grave as a vengeful spirit, wielding a makeshift weapon, a hatchet, and relentlessly hunting down anyone who dares to trespass in his swampy domain. His reign of terror is fueled by an insatiable thirst for revenge against those he holds responsible for his untimely demise. However, beneath the blood-soaked surface lies a tragic figure driven by grief and rage. Victor Crowley's relentless pursuit of revenge is a manifestation of the pain and trauma inflicted upon him in life, a cycle of violence perpetuated by the cruelty of others. Number 3. Carrie from the movie Carrie. Carrie White, portrayed by Sissy Spasek, is a shy and introverted teenager relentlessly bullied by her peers, especially by Chris Harginson. However, when Carrie discovers her telekinetic powers, she exacts a terrifying revenge during prom night, leading to catastrophic consequences. While the film doesn't condone bullying, it does serve as a cautionary tale about the consequences of tormenting others. Carrie's journey is fraught with torment and abuse, both at the hands of her overbearing, religiously fanatic mother and her cruel classmates at school. From the opening scene where Carrie experiences her first menstrual period in the locker room shower, to the infamous prom night climax, she endures relentless bullying and humiliation. Throughout the film, Carrie is subjected to taunts, jeers, and physical abuse. Number 4. Hoax from 926 Evil The movie follows Hoax, a socially awkward and bullied teenager who stumbles upon a demonic phone line promising to fulfill callers' deepest desires in exchange for their souls. Hoax's character is initially portrayed as a sympathetic figure, constantly ridiculed and marginalized by his peers, particularly his cousin Spike. He yearns for acceptance and recognition, but his attempts to fit in are met with cruelty and rejection. However, when Hoax discovers the demonic phone line, he sees it as an opportunity to gain the power and respect he has always craved. As Hoax delves deeper into the dark forces offered by the phone line, his desires for revenge against those who have wronged him intensify. He becomes consumed by a sense of entitlement and superiority, using his newfound powers to wreak havoc on his tormentors. What begins as a quest for justice quickly spirals into a dangerous obsession as Hoax's thirst for revenge consumes him. He becomes increasingly detached from reality, 
embracing his role as a puppet of the demonic forces that control the phone line. Number 5. Marty from Slaughter High The movie follows a group of former high school students who are lured back to their alma mater under false pretenses, only to be tormented by a vengeful former classmate. Marty is initially introduced as a socially awkward and bullied teenager, constantly ridiculed and humiliated by his peers, particularly by a group of popular students led by Carol, Skip, and their friends. Marty's torment reaches its peak during a cruel April Fool's Day prank gone horribly wrong, resulting in a life-changing accident and leaving him disfigured and traumatized. Years later, Marty orchestrates an elaborate scheme to lure his former classmates back to the now-abandoned high school, seeking revenge for the pain and humiliation they inflicted upon him. Adopting various disguises and employing elaborate traps, Marty systematically hunts down each of his former tormentors, subjecting them to brutal and sadistic punishments. Number 6. Arnie from the movie, Christine Arnie is initially introduced as a typical high school nerd, shy, socially awkward, and frequently bullied by his peers. He lacks confidence and is overshadowed by his more popular friends, including football player Dennis Gilder. However, everything changes when Arnie discovers Christine, a dilapidated car hidden away in a junkyard. As Arnie begins to restore Christine to her former glory, he undergoes a dramatic transformation, both physically and emotionally. His obsession with the car becomes all-consuming, leading him to prioritize Christine over everything else in his life, including his relationships with friends and family. His obsession with Christine ultimately leads to tragedy as he becomes consumed by her sinister influence and is unable to escape her hold. In the end, Arnie's fate serves as a sobering reminder of the consequences of unchecked desire and the destructive nature of addiction. Christine is more than just a horror film, it's a chilling exploration of the human psyche and the dark forces that lurk within us all. Number 7. Pumpkinhead Bloodwings, The Deformed Boy Tommy The film is a sequel to the original Pumpkinhead and explores the dark legacy of the titular demon. Tommy is introduced as a quiet and withdrawn teenager living in the small town of Farron Woods, where he is shunned and ridiculed by his peers due to his physical deformities. Despite his gentle nature, Tommy is subjected to relentless bullying and cruelty, particularly by a group of delinquent teenagers led by Danny Dixon. As the film progresses, it's revealed that Tommy's tragic past is closely connected to the legend of Pumpkinhead, a demonic creature summoned to exact revenge on behalf of those who have suffered injustice. Years earlier, Tommy's mother, a local prostitute, was brutally murdered by a group of teenagers, leading her grief-stricken husband to summon Pumpkinhead to avenge her death. However, the ritual goes awry, and Pumpkinhead's rampage claims the lives of innocent bystanders, including Tommy's own father. As a result, Tommy becomes an orphan, haunted by the memories of that fateful night, and ostracized by the townspeople who fear him as a living reminder of the tragedy. Number 8. Jeremy Melton Valentine 2001. In the 2001 horror film, Valentine, directed by Jamie Blanks, Jeremy Melton is a character whose tragic past sets the stage for a chilling tale of revenge and betrayal. The movie revolves around a group of friends who find themselves stalked by a mysterious killer on Valentine's Day, and Jeremy's story serves as the dark heart of the film. As a child, Jeremy is portrayed as a social outcast, bullied and ridiculed by his peers at a Valentine's Day dance. His attempts to express his affection for the girls at the dance are met with cruelty and rejection, ultimately culminating in a humiliating and traumatic experience that scars him for life. Years later, Jeremy returns to seek vengeance against those who wronged him, donning a mask and assuming a new identity as he systematically hunts down his former tormentors. His actions are driven by a twisted desire for retribution, fueled by the pain and humiliation he endured as a child. One of the most striking aspects of Jeremy's character 
is the way in which his quest for revenge blurs the lines between victim and perpetrator. Number 9. Michael Myers from Rob Zombie's Halloween 2007 The film begins with a glimpse into Michael's dysfunctional family life, characterized by abuse, neglect, and violence. Raised in a troubled household by his stripper mother Deborah and her abusive boyfriend Ronnie, Michael is already exhibiting disturbing behavior from a young age. However, it's his tumultuous relationship with his sister Judith and her abusive boyfriend that sets the stage for his transformation into a remorseless killer. As the film progresses, Zombie explores the gradual unraveling of Michael's psyche, depicting his descent into madness with brutal and unflinching realism. After murdering Judith and her boyfriend in a fit of rage, Michael is institutionalized at Smith's Grove Sanitarium, where he becomes the subject of study for Dr. Samuel Loomis. Number 10. Terror Train starring Jamie Lee Curtis. Jamie Lee Curtis plays the role of Alana Maxwell, one of the students attending the New Year's Eve costume party aboard the train. Alana is depicted as intelligent, resourceful, and level-headed, qualities that serve her well as she navigates the escalating terror unleashed by the killer. As the film progresses, it's revealed that the killer is seeking revenge for a prank gone wrong years earlier in which a young student named Kenny Hampson was humiliated and traumatized by his classmates during a frat party. Kenny's subsequent mental breakdown and institutionalization set the stage for his murderous rampage aboard the train. While these movies depict the harsh realities of bullying, they also showcase the resilience and strength of the human spirit in overcoming adversity. However, it's essential to recognize that not all stories of revenge are healthy or constructive. Hollywood's portrayal of bullying should serve as a reminder of the importance of empathy, compassion, and standing up against injustice in real life. Real-life examples of bullying abound, from schoolyards to workplaces, and the consequences can be severe. Tragic instances like the Columbine High School Massacre and the suicide of Phoebe Prince illustrate the devastating impact of unchecked bullying behavior. These incidents serve as sobering reminders of the urgent need for proactive measures to prevent and address bullying in all its forms. Did your favorite film make the list? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more movie-related content. Until next time, stay tuned and happy watching. Oh, 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 oh,